ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 24th day of March, and we are getting set for a dual threat of flooding and severe weather along the way. A lot of things to talk about, so let's get right into it and peek out the window as we like to do to start things off. There's a look at the view coming from Clanton. A few fair weather cumulus clouds around today, and above that, some high clouds. Down at uh, Gulf Shores, weather looks pretty good there. Spring break crowds having a good time on the Gulf Coast, and maybe you like the mountains. I sure do. That's our Mount Cheeha sky cam at Cheeha State Park. The sky there mostly cloudy. Well, there's a look at our current setup here, a whopper of an upper-level low that's over South Dakota. Uh, storms in advance of that. Now, that feature is going to be weakening and lifting out. A second one drops in, and the second one is the one that will likely produce the severe weather opportunities here later this week. Temperatures not bad. Montgomery, 77 degrees at 2 o'clock. Mostly low 70s around here. And the radar, not much out there as expected. We mentioned only a slight chance of a shower today, and I think that forecast worked out pretty nicely. But the weather will be increasingly wet as the week rolls along. Watch warning map. Still got a few counties in southeast Montana under a blizzard warning, but that big uh, blizzard is starting to wind down. Winter storm warnings for the uh, Colorado Rockies. Wind advisories for the middle of the nation. And got a, a severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, that's in effect until 4. That actually started earlier this morning at 10. That will probably be extended eastward. It includes parts of uh, Arkansas, Missouri, and southeast Oklahoma. There's the uh, day one convective outlook. A uh, slight risk of severe weather from uh, near Lufkin, Texas, up to about St. Louis and Paducah. And that includes Little Rock and Shreveport. Day two, there is a slight risk of severe weather from the Texas Hill Country to near Birmingham. But the higher probabilities of severe weather are well to the west. And again, I just don't think we have a big severe weather problem tomorrow. It's mainly just going to be a rain and storm kind of day. The higher probabilities from San Antonio to Hattiesburg, that 30% circle. Day three, Thursday, much of Alabama in a slight risk. And again, it's not a classic setup here. We are going to have a stalled boundary. And sometimes you do get back surface winds near the boundary. And you can see some rotating storms on that. So... We'll keep an eye on things, but this more than likely will be the big deal. This is day four, which is Friday. A uh, risk extends well into Alabama, and more than likely that will continue into day five, which is Saturday. And it might be a late night, early morning kind of thing, late Friday night, Saturday morning, as you'll see in modeling here. And, of course, the other threat is the uh, flooding threat. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're going to have a problem with the drought here this year. This is suggesting five inches of rain, five to five and a half inches of rain, pretty much statewide. This is valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. And, of course, in addition to the possibility of flash flooding, we have the possibility of river flooding down the line. Uh, many of the uh, major rivers in the state are running very high, and this will make them rise even higher over the weekend and next week. So if you've got property on rivers, be aware of that. Uh, this is the GFS valid at noon tomorrow, the uh, 12Z run. And you can see that uh, upper level low is lifting up into Canada. And down below that, the surface low is also sitting on the Canadian border. But the band of showers and storms will be moving in here. So rain and storms tomorrow. Severe, probably not a problem. But the rain could be heavy at times. Thursday, the front is stalled out. Now, the GFS tries to bring in drier air along and north of Interstate 59 all of a sudden. I'm not so sure the front gets that far south. I think from Interstate 20 South, the rain continues. And again, uh, the rain can be heavy at times. And there might be a few rotating storms on Thursday. We'll keep an eye on that. Friday, the front begins to lift north as a warm front. And once again, the maximum rain is right over north-central Alabama. As the uh, new surface low develops a little northwest of Shreveport on the Red River, and we think that we could see that big rain mass Friday morning, and then we... Uh, see some breaks in the cloud cover Friday afternoon. The boundary pushes north. The air gets very unstable. We could reach the 80s. And then Friday night, here comes our trough to the west. At uh, midnight Friday night, the surface low near Memphis. Now, this run not as deep with that surface low. 
And then Saturday, the uh, storms come in here, and this run a little slower. This is suggesting almost it might be a daytime Saturday kind of thing. So, again, we're going to see fluctuations in the timing here, but certainly somewhere in that Friday afternoon, Friday night, Saturday time frame, we could see a severe weather problem, maybe a significant one. There's the instability values at midday Saturday. Surface base capes over 1,000 joules around here. And we'll see. We'll adjust the timing. We'll get that down later in the week. It's a little early for that. Just be aware the potential is there. And then Sunday, the dry slot works in here. Uh, the sky should become mostly sunny, and then Monday of next week looks good. And once again, we don't see any sign of a freeze here at this point. Uh, Tuesday of next week, the weather stays dry. We'll jump out there a few more days to April 3rd. Here comes a big trough that looks wet, stormy, maybe severe weather. And understand every run looks different on the timing. So don't focus on one day because that will change. But the screaming message is that this active weather will likely continue into April. And there's a look at April 9th. And again, we've got a trough off to the west. And again, that looks relatively wet and stormy. This is the core of the spring tornado season. Things are looking that way on these maps. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.